So after you've eaten all the Altoids and washed and dried your tin, it's time to get started making our candle. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put a piece of tin foil on the bottom of my tin, both for a little bit of extra uh, protection on the bottom and also to help cover up this hinge area so that I don't accidentally spill wax. So take your piece of tin foil, fold it in half, lengthwise. It doesn't matter if it gets crinkled or anything. So you have your little square. And then holding the top, even with the top of your tin, just press it down and across the bottom. so that it lines the inside. Take your wick and using a little bit of glue, just put it right in the middle of the bottom. And these are nice wicks, they're already waxed, so they will look like they'll stand up on their own without any need to be held up. So I'm putting some glue stick on the bottom of my tin, putting my tin foil back in there, and then a little more glue on top of the tin foil, oops, right in the middle, and press my wick onto there. Oops. Now obviously glue stick is not the strongest, but for the most part the wax will hold everything in. Put this off to the side. So I have my one ounce of wax and I'm just going to microwave this for 15 seconds. So my wax is melted. It took about a minute and 15, a minute and 30 seconds. My wig is glued down and I'm just going to make a little pour spout and fill. Alright, so I'm just taking two popsicle sticks and taping them together. To hold my wick upright. So that's two ounces of wax and some popsicle sticks. And now all we need to do is let it cool. Once it has fully cooled, we'll look into adding some matches. So here's a close up. You can see how the wax is pretty much right up to the dimples where the lid closes and the popsicle sticks are holding up the wick out of the wax. My wax is solidified so I can carefully pull my sticks off. My wick is nice and firm. I'm going to trim at the level of the tin. We could stop here and have a perfectly ready to go Candle, but we're going to add matches. Just a little matchbook. Oops. All right. I'm going to see what I can do 
Now that I've got my box taken apart, I'm going to put a little bit of tape on here. And a little bit of tape on here. I'm going to lay down a single layer of matches. also do this using a paper matchbook which is obviously much thinner than the box of matches that I have. You could also cut out the strike plates and glue them onto the side with more matches glued on the other side or you could just carry around a lighter. I have my freshly washed and dried Tin with my tin foil already added. I'm going to be making mine apple cinnamon spice um, scented. So I got these at the Dollar Tree. They were four for a dollar. And all I'm going to do is pull one out. I can take the wick straight out and add that to my tin. Let me get rid of the plate for a second. Now I'm going to put two sticks side by side and using some tape, just regular scotch tape. I'm going to pinch the wick between the sticks. And tape it on. So the bottom is all the way down on the bottom of my key, uh, on the bottom of my tin. I'm just kind of sandwiching it in. There we go. Now I'm bringing the plate back because the next step is to chop up our candle. So now that I have all of my wax for my candle cut, I'm going to put it in my microwave safe bowl. And this is why I used a paper plate instead of cutting on the table or on a cutting board. Just scoop everything in. And now I'm going to microwave this for about two minutes and see how well it melts. Three, two, one. All right, so this is what I have after two minutes. I'm gonna give it a stir. You can see that all the little particles have already melted and I'm just waiting for the bigger chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in for another two minutes. Five. Four, three, 
two, one. All right, so this is after four minutes. I'm gonna stir it up again. It's mostly liquid, but there is still some wax hanging on, or some chunks, I should say, it's all wax. I'm gonna put that in there, back in the microwave for another minute. So this is after 30 seconds. I'm gonna stir it a little bit and see if I can get the last little pieces to melt on their own, which it looks like they did. So the eagle-eyed may have noticed that this is now double cupped. I did notice that the boiling wax was eating through the soup cup, <laughs> which is what this is. Um, so just be aware of that. Now I'm going to take my tin and just like I did with the other one, pour in my candle. All right, and these are votives. Um, so these are votive size, or you could, if you don't want to use votives, or if you can't find any, you can also use two um, tea lights, the tiny little ones. Just make sure you take off all the metal pieces before you... Carefully take off our sticks and these can be saved to use for any other project, be it the woodworking or making another candle. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it about even, maybe even slightly lower than the lid of the Altoids tin. And here is our finished scented candle.